Okay, this video is going to explore a study that I did, uh, I think back in 2012, about 10 years ago or so, and I posted this on Truthbook, uh, forum.truthbook.com about 10 years ago. And I was curious about this because I had done it and really hadn't revisited it for many years. And I went and it's cool. They archive the stuff at uh, forum.truthbook.com still. So, but of course, a lot of the links were broken and the links that did work uh, pointed to, um, you know, 404 sites that didn't exist anymore. And what I needed there was a couple of charts and a link to a date tool. Uh, but I've updated those, so I have those. So what this is about is that um, the Ranch Book is, you know, a lot. I mean, so so much of it is completely unbelievable and hard to prove. And you know, it's like God, you know, how can you prove God? Um, and but, you know, about 10 years ago, I had this, uh, you know, as I was reading, like, through the life and teachings of Jesus, I thought, wow, this is um, this is pretty amazing. You know, they're mentioning days, you know, they're saying Wednesday, January 25th, you know, 8012 or whatever. And I thought, you know, that's pretty cool, you know, because if this was uh, pretty much ready to go by 1935 and finally published in 1955 uh, kind of date tools that I have available to me uh, today are a lot different than they were back in 1933 and I thought you know I mean trying to prove the ranch book what it says is true uh, to prove its veracity um, you know it's kind of a I don't know I mean, intellectually, it's kind of a futile process. Uh, so, but it's not a bad place to have discussions, of course. But I felt that this was, was an interesting thing. I wanted to know if the, the day names, uh, for example, here on this document that I have, which we're going to get into, uh, Wednesday, March 16th, 81. You know, it's straight out of the ranch book. And I was just curious, do those days, you know, with fairly modern tools and maybe cross-reference, um, uh, do those days match up? Because whoever put this together, uh, the authors of this, uh, of the Ranch book, uh, they did that, you know. They 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 named these. We're going to go through some of these. We're not going to go through all of them, but we're going to test a few. Here's another one. This is from paper... Uh, uh, 123, and there it is, Friday, April the 14th, 82. Now, you know, maybe the authors, I mean, it could be easily dismissed and just say, hey, they had some kind of, you know, I'm going to show you a chart, and, and maybe they had something like that back then. But, you know, I guess one position I have is like, let's say the Ranch book was complete fiction and written by a uh, you know, a uh, like a science fiction writer, Philip K. Like Philip K. Dick, you know, somebody like that uh, could write the Ranch book. You know, would and it's a big book. And would you have the inclination to, uh, you know, go and check these day names um, for your narrative? I mean, maybe, but there's a lot. You know, I mean, this document here, I pull out. This is 18 pages of these, uh, kind of double spaced, but you know I've got like uh, we'll just kind of scroll down a little bit here. Uh, you can see in my original post I really got into all the papers, and you can see it's like date after date. There's one. There's one, all the way down the line. It just goes on and on and on and on, and. Um, yeah, I mean, if it was, let's say, just for kicks, it was a science fiction writer that wrote uh, the Ranch book. I mean, to do this kind of research, um, whoever that, you know, I don't think it was a fictional writer, but if it were, um, I would really like to know that person's name, you might say. So we're going to go through a few of these. Um, again, each one of these that we're looking at here, these are straight out of the Ranch book. 
this is you know paper 172 and you know it's very specific you know shortly after four o'clock on friday afternoon march 31 AD 30 and we're going to look at some of these and we're going to check them against a chart that was done in uh it was like a date calculator chart done in um 1998 which was what i used originally to check this stuff and then uh, there was another site I used, or there were at least two other sites I used, uh, which I double-checked all of these on. This is like 10 years ago. And they all checked out. Uh, one, the, the, uh, the chart, the 1998 chart, is, is uh, a 10,000-year calendar. It's pretty cool. We'll be looking at it. And the other is, um, like I said, I had used two other sources before. I can't, they're no longer online, but I found a uh, comparable source that uses Gregorian and uh, the Julian ca calendar to uh, do these um, lookups. And, you know, all we're looking for here is like the ranch book says, you know, for example, here, this one, uh, you know, paper 172 and the date is, is March 31, 8030. And we want to just kind of double check this, uh, this Friday part, you know, the day of the week, the name of the day. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. And I'll show you how we do this. Uh, we'll just go to the top. We'll start with, uh, with uh, something near the top. But first, I'll just, you know, look at this, what I had written. Uh, just said it took me about a week of evenings to collect and go through all these dates in the ranch book and I used these various sources I had updated this the keys and online day of the week which we'll be looking at um, when I originally did this I um, you'll see here in this document it says concurs with the 10,000 year calendar and concurs uh, with the Albion calendar, but we'll be using another one, but it's the same concurrence. Um, so here we go. We'll, we'll just, you know, we're going to do a few of these. And to me, um, is it evidence, you know, of some celestial authorship of the Ranch book? Um, not, I don't think it's, you know, I think it's not that conclusive, but it's very interesting. Uh, like I said, uh, it would have taken a lot of work for anybody to get these day names right. Um, and, and why would you bother? I mean, it's just, you know. So for me, you know, my own personal belief is that I do believe the Ranch Book is of celestial origin. And I think that the, uh, the day names of the week would have been very easy to pull off, you know. Uh, just assuming that celestial let's say beings a bit above us in kind of a, you know, semi-spiritual or even spiritual realm uh, would be able to have that kind of access to that kind of data very easily. Um, and that may be stepping too far out of this. Let's start with this. Um, we're going to go into, um, uh, we'll just start with the very first one and maybe we'll jump around. So here we have in paper 123, we have was born... Wednesday morning, March 16th, 81. That's pretty, uh, pretty specific. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try to see if we can verify that with two things. The first thing is uh, this very interesting 10,000-year uh, calendar, which I found many years ago, over 10 years ago, I found this uh, very cool chart. And it took me a little while to figure out how to use it. Um, and since I had posted this 10 years ago, I'd actually forgotten. But then I think yesterday I uh, relearned how you do this. So let's go back to the document. I might have to bounce back and forth a few times. But what we see is this is going to be 81 March 16th. That's really all we need to know. So 81. Let's, let's go with that first. So the way this chart works is you have to pick... Um, the first two digits of the year, then you get the last two digits of the year, the month and the date, and then you get the day of the week. So this is exactly what we want. So we know that the year is going to be 0001, 1 AD. So we have 00 here, okay? 
So that means that, you know, the line that we want is this line. The other part is it's either January and February or after February. Well, it's March, March 16th. So what we want to do here is we want to find, again, the last two digits of the year. So in this case, it's 01. So that's this column. And we just go down uh, and, and make a cross section here. So we have the, uh, we have G, okay? So we need to remember that, G, G whiz. And then what we want to do is, uh, it's March 16th, let's just double check. It's easy to forget. March 16th, right. So here we have March, and we want to go uh, the 16th, which is here, L. So what we have is L, G. So if we, if we do this cross table here, we see L, we go over here at the end here, G, if we go down. So L, G is Wednesday. If we look at the original uh, quote from the ranch book, it's Wednesday. You just go, wow, that's pretty cool. You know, I mean, I don't know. Is it amazing or not? It's not. <laughs> I mean, it, like I said, if it's celestial beings, it would be nothing at all. If it was a, a terrestrial being, you know, you'd have to be doing your homework pretty good. Now, let's double check this. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to this um, site that I just found, uh, keysoncasio.com. And we're going to enter in the same data here. It's March 16. And here is 1, 81. And execute. Okay. There it is. Definitely coincides. Uh, that's Wednesday. Uh, I think we'll just do, I want to do two more things. We'll do another date, and then we'll, uh, I have something else I want to show. So let's go back to the document. And like I said, they're all in here, you know, Sunday, uh, you know, Tuesday. You can go through these with those two tools and check yourself. But I've done it. I've done every single one of these. And um, there are a lot, you know, in the Ranch book. These are all direct quotes pulled out from the Ranch book. Let's we'll pick another one. Let's pick something, uh, whatever, Thursday, Friday. Wednesday, Monday, let's do a Monday, okay? So here we have from the Ranch Book Paper 156, and we have a couple of dates in this one, and one of them is uh, July 11th, 8029, Monday, okay? So we'll, we'll do this one, July 11, 71129, okay? 71129, and we'll just go back to the chart, we'll do that first. Uh, 0, 0, 0029, so we're going to be doing this row again. And 29, it's July 11, so um, go here and find uh, 29, which is this column. So uh, 29, it's going to be, once again, G. Okay, And then we go down here to the month, it's July uh, the 11th, with, which is J, so if we look at J, G, uh, J, G on the cross is Monday. Um, and that's exactly what that is. And if we go back and do the day of the week calculator on this side, on the Keyson Casio site, and we punch in July uh, 11... 29, execute, Monday, okay? So I, I, I just found this interesting, and uh, yeah, I checked out all the dates. I mean, there's a lot of them in the life and teachings of Jesus. Now, for one last little uh, cute thing is, um, is something about the moon, and in addition to these dates, there was something in the Arantia book about the moon that I thought was interesting. And it was uh, in paper 176, and it said, under the mellow light of the full moon. And, um, you know, this was April 6, 30 AD. And I thought, wow, I wonder, you know, straight out of the Arantia book, 
And I said, I wonder how that lines up. Was that really a full moon on that day? And so I found a site. So we're saying April 6:30, okay? April 6:30. And here is a uh, astro it's astral pickle uh, pickles, yeah. Pixels um, site. And we'll just go ahead and see what we can find here. We want to do uh, we're looking for um, what was it again? The year? 30. Okay. We want to find 30 here. There's 30. And we want uh, April 6. So if we look in here for the full moon. And we see right there. April 6. Now the year 30 AD. Which is what we see here in the Ranch Book. Um, in paper 176. We use this moon chart, full moon on the year AD 30, uh, happened on April 6. And here in the ranch book, just like it says, you know, under the light, the mellow light of the full moon, you know. Wow, man. Really? Whoever wrote that, you know, put that those two things together. The fact that the full moon was actually, you know, on April 6. Um... 8030. So that that's really the end of this demonstration. Um, these uh, the document, th this calendar, I had to pull off archive.org because the site's no longer there. So if somebody wants it, you know, you can let me know or maybe I'll post it somewhere. Uh, the other one is uh, KeesonCasio.com is where this one is. And there are others out there that can also be used to double check um, the accuracy of the, the day names as giving uh, in the Life and Teachings of Jesus section of the Ranch Book. So that's the end of this demonstration of, uh, of some research I did in the study. I just kind of wanted to capture it and uh, record it and uh for posterity probably post it to uh youtube or something so that's it for this one